Hey guys, we're here with the final mission of Cabela's Shadows of Katmai. Finally on the home stretch. There's a fire over there, I'm not sure why. Not really. That must oh, be Jenner Station. Dynamite. I expect those folks down there will be right mighty the last happy one, to we see just us. Blew our way out of How's a hot meal and a warm bed sound to you? And he's with a little dog friend. So yeah. Um, I'm just sitting there admiring the view. It's kind of a pretty game. It's not the greatest view ever that I've ever seen, but I mean, it's not bad. So that's my destination. That's Jenna's point or ridge. Jenna Station, that's it. And then we're just going to do some more rock climbing. Because that seems to be the main thing. I don't even know why they call this a hunting game. It shouldn't be called a hunting game. It should be like rock climb simulator. I, I guess it's not even a simulator because there's no real, no way close to realistic. Fucking wolves jumping out yet 90% of the time. There's a dead something. I guess that's an elk. I haven't seen an elk yet. It's all caribou. Story related. And I zoomed in there for nothing. I think that was one shot, one kill for the little guys. And then the big ones are like freaking the Hulk. Shot him in the ass. Shot him in the ass. Shoot him in the ass. The fatal region. And some more rock climbing. <sighs> so much rock climbing. Oh, there's a rickety old bridge. And eh, no issues with it. Been there for how long in the snow and shit. I'm sure it's fine. That was a hell of a leap. That's Olympic style leap right there. You gotta have some balls on you to leap like that. There's no way in hell you'd find me leaping across something like that. This is so much better than the last mission. You can actually see what the shit that's flying at you. It's not black on black, it's black on white. It's so much easier. It's still a pain in the ass. Don't get me wrong, but. Ah, oh, fucking more birds. It's such a cheap way of getting you to slow down, make the game last longer. And another round of fucking birds. Why the hell would they come in rounds like that? You think if there was a bunch there, they'd all come at once. Finally. Um, okay, go down another one. Um, you supposed to keep going over? No? Uh, I guess you're supposed to go down here. And go down. There we go. Man, the controls are a pain in the ass in this game. It kind of does what it wants, and you're just along for the ride. Look at that jump. Holy shit. Realistic as hell, man. I gotta say, this game is fun in the fact that it's so out there. <laughs> Just to make fun of it, it's ridiculous. Ugh. But even that wears off after a while. I mean, there's only so much of it you can make fun of. The storyline isn't really there. If you watch Balto, it's the same storyline as Balto. Which is a great Disney movie. If you have kids, it's great to watch. If not, watch it anyway. It's still cool. That's my childhood. Freaking 90s, man. Oh, we got a cutscene. I think. Yep, cutscene. Oh, that bear was being killed. He's back. Damn, he has big teeth. Hey, it's Chachka. The guy that old crazy dude was talking about. Find a way to defeat Chachka. Um... Oh shit, okay. Well that was like four shots in the face. Kinda worked. And one shot, one kill. Huh. <laughs> this could be an ordeal. Uh huh. Oh, why'd it take me right before the cutscene? Come on, skip it. Skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it, skip, it, skip, it, skip, it, skip. It. Well, let's get most of it. Come on, keep skipping it. Keep skipping it. Damn it, come on. 
Oh, here we go again. I don't know why that fell down in front of him, but it did. Uh, pretty much Bowman here, I think. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do to him? Um, uh, grappling point. Apparently I flew out of the way and he ran off the edge. Really? Wow, that was a lame ass Holy. boss fight. The boss fight, he fell. <laughs> That's the lamest boss fight ever. Well, how did you defeat the incredible Chachka? Oh, you know, he, he fell. <laughs> oh, here we go. Freaking sled just laying there. The dog has no issue with it. He's chill. Like, yeah, whatever. He's not barking or whimpering or anything. Nah. He's chill. It'd be so much easier, these, like, dog sled or this sled thing, if they would pick the angle up another, I don't know, 10 degrees, 15 degrees, so you could kind of see what's up in front of you and how you are in relation to everything else. Even if they put you in a first-person view inside the sled, it'd be a lot easier. Here, all that sled does is block your view of what the hell's in front of you. It's like a pain in the ass. And you can't change it. There, I don't know what the hell hit me there. Don't hit me there either. Uh, now an under underground ice cave. Hmm. And we're still going. Oh, almost hit that tree. Probably wouldn't have been good. Huge ass rock. Tree fell over for no reason. Um, yeah. Uh, I hit that rock, yet I bounced off apparently. Didn't even slow me down. Oh! Hey, we did it! This general station. And I laid it over. Uh, I can't Dog feel my is body. Fine. Okay, I can feel that. Yeah, that's kind of gross. Get the first aid kit. Good morning, sunshine. Is he? How the hell did he get there? You know, you know, dead. Just from the neck up. She is pretty hot. Feels like I got hit by a bus. Dang. How long have I been out? Almost two he days. He does not look comfortable in that bed at all. He got here just in time. There is no, no one else has died. Bed. It's just a Seems firm block of wood. Seems the outbreak is under control. Mr. James, I call me Logan. These guys never Thank blink you, either. Logan. What you did was amazing. Just dead eyes, no stare the whole damn time. How did you oh, get here anyway? A search and rescue plane picked up your SOS. Led them right to us. You, you know, look comfortable you're a big there. hero now, Logan. The bed. Togo, too. The papers are comparing your adventure to the Gnome Serum run of 1929. Somebody mentioned something about a bronze statue in the town square. Uh, right. the Balto Well, reference. be sure to send me a picture. You're not planning to stick around? <laughs> I've had enough snow for one lifetime. <laughs> I don't blame you. I hear the Florida Keys are nice I this time of year. I think a little romance between you the two. Want to tag along? Ooh. I'll fly us down there. Let's take the train. A trip to the Keys. She doesn't want to fly no more. Big pansy. <laughs> so that's it. That is the end of the story mode. <coughs> See? Finished story mode. Well, guys, that was the end. It wasn't a very satisfying ending, I know. But hey, that's the game. I hope you had fun, and uh, I'll see you in the next game I decide to do a playthrough in. As always, check out our old videos and wait for our new ones. Later, guys.